What's up? What's up, y'all? It's time for my up and coming content creators spotlight for the week. This week we have Tiffany from Crombie's World. Tiffany features a family channel devoted to showing you what living your best life is all about. They do vlogs, pranks, challenges, DIYs, couponing, shop with me's, you name it. My favorite video of hers that she just recently did was a Sam's Club shop with me because girl, you know, I'm about to go to Sam's Club soon and I'm looking at all the good stuff she has in her Sam's Club and girl, I'm, I'm going this weekend, okay? I love watching shop with me's because I love seeing what people buy. And then I'm always on the hunt for those same deals or those same finds in my local store, y'all. So, yes, guys, I'm here to give me something to eat first. And then we're going to take us a nice little trip to Sam's where I have not been, like I said, in over two years. And I know I'm about to blow a bag in there. I know at least about $300. So, I'm already prepared. Now, did our good sis lie? She did not tell one lie. You step in Sam's Club, you immediately at the door hand over $300 minimum. Okay, she had some really good finds like the Steve Madden slides or sandals that she found. And I was like, oh, girl, only five dollars. I know it's about to be winter time, but there is going to be a summer again. Y'all be sure to go down in the description box below and check our good sis out. Tiffany from Chromie's World down below. Hit a subscribe and tell your girl Chrissy sent you. Next up for our rising star spotlight for the week, we have Natural Lizzie. She's a seven-year-old content creator and fashionista. She does shopping hauls. She does natural hair videos, DIYs, cooking videos, and reviews. I love watching her channel because she is the cutest little content creator I absolutely love how well-spoken she is, and she's just a natural on camera. Recently, she just did a shot with me at Ross, and I loved watching her pick out her little outfits. I let my girls watch, and they loved, loved this video, you guys. When I say loved, I mean they loved this video, and they liked all of her little choices. This is a good, wholesome channel to watch with the kiddos or let your kids watch, Um I really, really love, love her channel, you guys. It was so fun watching this. I want you guys to go down and show Lizzie some love. All of her information is down in the description box below. She deserves at least another thousand subscribers today. Let's make that happen for her. We the strong fam. Let's show her how we do. Hold on, hold on, fuck that. Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart Tension Between us just like we were fences You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling apart What's up, strong fam? It's your girl, and I am back for another highly anticipated, long-awaited daily vlog. <laughs> I am going to try to get more consistent with these daily vlogs, but until then, let's enjoy this one. So I already had my morning coffee. I'm still actually sipping on it, and I made my schedule for the day and kind of got, you know, more organized that's what I've been working on getting more organized and coming up with a plan for my days so I don't get distracted and things like that um Blaze is still asleep the kids are already off to school so Onyx is awake so I just gave him a bath washed his hair and now I'm doing a little self-care on, on Onyx and 
he is getting a little bit of cocoa butter stick to the face <laughs> and just laying there and taking it all in because I want to make sure he's nice and moisturized. Sometimes they do have little eczema flare ups. And so I used to like to use the cocoa butter to kind of make sure the skin stays moisturized and nice and healthy. After I do this, I'm going to go ahead and have a little one on one time with Onyx. I've been really trying to make sure that I specifically get one-on-one -on -one time with each of my kids because life can get crazy and hectic and busy and then you can kind of forget to have that one-on-one -on -one time just take it slow with them so I'm deep conditioning his hair um, later on I'm gonna give him a little bit of a trim because you guys know I've already cut his hair down to like a little bit of a fro I'm not professional but just a little something something for now until I'm ready to take him to get an actual big boy cut um, so this is the finished product and he likes it and then we're going to go ahead. I let him pick a book. We're going to lay in my bed and I'm going to let him read Elmo's potty book. Um, Onyx is potty trained. However, he does have accidents sometimes still. So we're still working on that, especially with the move and everything. He's been waiting to the last minute to go potty. So we've kind of been working on that. And so I thought this book would be a really good book to kind of remind him to be a big boy and to not use the bathroom in his underwear and things like that. But he does a really good job. And I really like this book because it has the little, um, you know, the little buttons that make noises and it tells you when to press the button to make the noise during the story so he really likes this book we spent a lot of time just kind of reading through it and pressing the buttons and he really had a good time with this so it was really really fun to do with him um, after I do this with him I will allow him to have some screen time so that I can get some other things done while I cook for him and do a couple other things <laughs> Now, y'all can't tell me that's never happened to you guys when you sneak up to check on your little one to see if they're still sleeping or make sure they're still breathing. I always do that. I'm the parent. I'm guilty. Even though I have nine children, I still always stop and make sure my kids are still breathing. Like, I have to do that. And you got to give them a little, a little shove, a little push, a little nudge, a little pick, poke, you know, just to make sure you're still breathing. I don't know. Call it the old school in me. I don't know. But then I'm like, Oh shit, I'm gonna wake him up. And then I'm like trying to tiptoe away. Hit a like if that's been you. Okay, we all can relate as parents. Okay, so now I'm about to make some breakfast for Onyx and Blaze. Um, the only thing that I really need to cook, cook this morning are scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up a few eggs for them. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna put it with something. Some for Onyx, I'm gonna put it with something light because he's had a cold the last couple of days and he's been kind of picky, not really wanting to eat much. So I just put it with a little bit of rice because it's like, you know, I feel like these two foods he loves and I know that he will eat. So I went ahead and put it some scrambled eggs with cheese with a little bit of rice on a plate, and then he. He tore that up he ate it really really well with a little bit of juice um and yeah he liked that all right y'all already know it's about that time cold and flu season which is all the time when you have nine children so you guys already know how i am i try to stay up on my vitamin d3 my zinc and my vitamin c this vitamin c is 1000 milligrams of vitamin c i have a couple of kids in the house like onyx who are kind of getting over a cold or trying to get sick so <laughs> your girl can afford to have that happen i get sick easily and when i get sick i'm down i'm down down 
down. I'm down real bad. So your girl tries to stay up on it and keep my immune system beefed up. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go outside for a little bit. I'm trying to finish this cup of coffee. I've had to rewarm it twice today. I don't know what's taking me so long to finish it. I tried to little, read a little bit more about my um, stones and my gems and just healing properties. That book, I've had that book for a while and I'm reading it little by little as I get a chance. Um, but also the lawn care people came yesterday and they came and treated the lawn and I have to hand water the grass today, even though it's it's fall and it's about time for it to just not be watered anymore. I got to water it to keep it green. Um, and so now I'm back up in my office. Onyx is on his tablet, kind of keeping himself busy while I get some work done. i um, trying to secure a couple contracts for a couple of companies. And so I had to kind of look over those and make sure you guys read your contracts every single time. Okay. If you're a content creator, read the fine prints, honey. Okay. Um, trying to do some research and get some things done and yeah so fast forward to the evening i'm making baked chicken with rice and vegetables for dinner for the kids i'm gonna go ahead and saute this chicken on the stove kind of get it started then i'm gonna transfer it over to the oven and kind of let it finish cooking in there while we do s'mores y'all know we love to do s'mores um Oh, side note, I just put a couple pieces of foil down because I did not, your girl did not want to do much dishes. Okay. I didn't want to do any dishes. We used throwaways for the dinner and yeah. Anyway, so now it's time to do s'mores. I set it up really cute in our little thing here, a little caddy. Um, I got our ready to go firewood and we're going to head on out to the back fire, to the, no, to the backyard, to the bonfire and have a really good time on except trying to eat our marshmallows like he was slick. He was like, mm, yum, yummy, mom. Like, uh-uh, no. <laughs> and we had a really good time. I love this time of year. I love the fall. I love the weather. I love being able to do bonfires. I mean, you can do those any time of the year, really. But this time of the year is always more special. It's always more fun. We love Halloween. We love Thanksgiving. We love Christmas. The fall for us is just, it's a vibe, okay? So I can't wait to show and share with you guys more fall activities that the kids and I do. It's going to be a blast. And I hope that you guys tune in for more fall vlogging. <laughs>
when I say these are the moments I live for, these are the moments that I live for as a mom of nine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit a like, like for your girl, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Trust from the distance I think we should rule out the limit for now Cause we're falling apart